Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. So today I'm going to teach you how to color match your videos using Filmora 10. Now color matching is a very cool feature by Filmora. It enables you to edit your videos quicker and it also gives that consistent color grading look all throughout your video. Now recently I did a photography and videography project where pretty much I edited a video using the color matching feature of Filmora 10. So please check it out. I'm gonna post the link down below and also above the screen. So it's a very fun and cool video. Please check it out. Okay, let me demonstrate to you how to use the color matching feature of Filmora 10. Let's head over to Filmora 10. All right guys, welcome to Filmora 10. So as you can see, again, we already have four different videos that I'm gonna use for demonstration purposes. So the first thing that you want to do is basically drag your video to your timeline. So I've already dragged one. Now, as you can see, this video is already color graded. So the first thing that you want to do is basically color grade your video. Now I've done a tutorial on how to color grade the video. So if you wanna learn how to color grade your videos using Filmora 10, so please check out the videos on the link down below. So now you already have one clip that you've already color graded. The next thing you want to do is basically color match your other clips with the first video that you've just color graded. So what I'm gonna do now is basically drag the other clips that I'd like to color grade and color match. So I'm gonna drag them down along here and there. Now this is the interesting part. This is the cool feature of Filmora called color matching. The first thing you want to do is basically click that video and then you go to advanced color tools. Click that and then you could see color match. So click color match and it will take you to a different window to the right side. Now in this section here, it tells you reference. So reference is the video that you've just color graded and the current one is the video that you want to color match on the first video. So what you want to do is basically on this browser over here, you know, this sliding browser. It's basically the videos that you have on your timeline. So what you want to do is basically point the video to the clip that you've color graded. So pretty much this is the, the first clip that I've got on my timeline that's been color graded. In short, you want the current video to look like the reference video. So what you want to do is basically, once you found the clip that you are happy with the color grade with and put, put the sliding browser on that section, then when you're happy with that, then you click match. Now, as you can see, the color and the look of the reference video has now been matched to your current video. So if you're happy with that, then press OK. Now let's proceed to the other videos. Let's just color click that and do the same process again to your other clips. Go again to um, advanced color tools, then go to color match. Now my tip is to make sure that, you know, the reference is located or dragged to the video that's got the setting that you like. So it's pretty much the first clip. So once you're happy with that, let's match it again. And you could see in the current video that Filmora will adjust the colors based on the reference video. There you go. It's already color graded. Now, sometimes when you've got a overexposed or underexposed footage, sometimes the color match doesn't seem to be 100% accurate. So I suggest if you're not happy with the color match, you can always tweak the settings and do it on the color correction section. So for example, I wanted this clip to a little bit more brighter. So let's go to color correction. And then just go to adjust. And then you could change the setting, like the color. Um, like I said, I've talked about all these settings on my other video, so please check it out for me, guys. It's um, how you color grade your video. All right, guys, before I show you the final video, I would appreciate it if you give this video a like and if you check out my other videos on my channel. I would also appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and if you hit that notification bell if you want to be updated with my future content. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye now and leave you this final video. Once again, this has been Clive, and I shall see you on the next tutorial. Bye.